Today, we're gonna finally get this thing running and start it. That's the goal anyway. And to do that, we need an exhaust. We got some fancy stainless steel V-band flanges. We've got a bunch of stainless tubing pre-bent. It's gonna sound so much better than it did when it was just an ATV. It had an exhaust like that big around with a giant muffler and it just sounded like a bag of farts. That is a nice sound. Woo! Two exhaust flanges. Done. I got this ring. Uh, clamped on there, you can see it's loose at the bottom, so I'm gonna tack it everywhere that it's tight, and then, you know, work it around. Barbie camper exhaust is coming along rather nicely so far. It comes down underneath and then has a little zigzag over here to come up and get back over the frame. I think the plan is that I'll merge the tubes right there. I'm getting ready to attach this V-band because I thought about it a little bit and uh, I'm quite certain that it'll make it a lot easier to remove the exhaust. goes like that and uh, with a little finagling fits together real nice throw the v-band on there clamp it in place tack it in a few places and then uh, move on to the next part so uh, we've been getting a ton of snow which means it's a perfect time to jump the shop roof as you can see, it's uh, it's kind of a perfect jump. I just have to stick the landing on the other side and not hit the house. This is also a perfect time to talk about our sponsor for this video, NordVPN. NordVPN encrypts all your traffic, which protects your privacy, and it makes it so that your internet service provider can't slow down your streaming speeds. So no more bandwidth throttling. NordVPN is super easy to use. Connect with just one click or enable auto connect for zero click protection. Unblock your favorite games and geo restricted servers. Don't let your location limit where you can play. One last thing about Nord before I send this jump. NordVPN has over 5,100 servers in 60 countries. So you can find one that's closer to you for better speeds or farther away for greater protection. Let's send it. So go check out nordvpn.com slash ghpc to get two years plus one additional month for a huge discount. And it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. And the link is in the description, so go check it out.
I've just welded everything that I can reach with it in place because the more that's welded in place, the less it'll warp when I weld the rest of it. Now I'm gonna start working on a muffler and there's not a lot of space to work with here. So, time to make a cardboard weird muffler box thing. sheet of stainless, got my piece of cardboard all unfolded. We'll see if I can make it all out of just this piece with all the ends all folded in and stuff. Got it marked uh, roughly with the Sharpie and now I'm gonna turn that into accurate dimensions. Bending these in works as intended. something. I'm not sure what, but it's looking like, you know, what this did. And then get some muffler packing, pack it full, and then weld the back up. I've been talking about this for years. Wait, we have? I splurged. Oh, nice! Yeah, we got a real a gas real can. Gas that a doesn't leak with the hose and everything. <laughs> a real gas can, wow. <laughs> Even the dog's excited. <laughs> yeah. I got there at the motorcycle shop and I was like, our lives are gonna be so good and there's no way we have gas up here right now. Also, premium, 450 a gallon. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I don't drive the BMW anymore. <laughs> now comes the real fun part. Making these go through. So, got uh, this piece, you know, partially done for inside the muffler. So on this end, if I squish it together a little bit, it'll match up to that oval roughly and meet the end of the other pipe. And then it goes in here, something like that. And then uh, of course I'll make a plate that goes around the back here and a plate that goes around the bottom. And, uh, I think that looks really cool, and it should uh, actually be really good for, you know, muffling purposes, because unlike the other part of the oval, I'm gonna leave this pipe whole, and then I'm gonna take the plasma cutter, because it'll be faster than drilling, and punch like a thousand holes in each of these, and I'll, I'll just leave a strip where I have these Sharpie marks so that I can weld it easily along both sides, and the rest of it, I'll just perforate the whole thing.
parts all welded together. We got our muffler core that's still very warm. It's an effective muffler. Ah! Ah! Very effective. Now that I've got the muffler done, before I weld it on, uh, I'm gonna put on all the wiring harness, uh, hook up the battery, put the carburetors back on, and set up some sort of temporary fuel can so that we can do a test start and hear it without the muffler and then with the muffler. You wanna come uh, see this thing start up? Yeah, is it that time? I think so. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, I tested, we have spark and I have a temporary fuel can set up. We might need the jumper battery, but we'll see in a minute. Quality of the new gas can. Yeah, here, most overkill thing ever. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I don't know what I'm more excited for, the gas can or the first You don't spot. know? That's pretty obvious. I mean, this gas can is great, but... <laughs> Think of all the time spent pouring gas over ourselves trying to fill things up. Things we could have done years ago. Let's hear it. All right, let's see if she wants to start. Equal length header V twin Harley sound. Yeah. Just like the Colonel. Okay. I can't believe how much better it sounds. It didn't sound like anything as the quad. Oh, I know. It was like. Whoa. Also, how much better it starts. It's been sitting for like six months. Yeah. And then just all I've done is uh, clean the carburetor. Man, that went way easier than I expected. <laughs> We're all getting ready to work super late tonight, and it's <laughs> six o'clock and it already yeah. runs. All I have to do is tack on a muffler and we're good. Yeah. I mean, given that, we have to obviously take it for a test drive. Oh, yeah. As you'll notice, I um, <laughs> jerry-rigged, screwed this uh, throttle onto here so you can throttle. Last night, I got the whole cooling system hooked up including even the coolant overflow bottle, which most of our builds don't even have one of those, let alone, let alone have it hooked up for the first test drive. Well, look at this. Edwin uh, <laughs> finally bought us a real gas can. Oh, dude, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Ah! Did you have to order that, or did you get it from a... It is like a local Yamaha shop. When I bought the packing for the marker, I saw it there and I was like, you yes. need that. All right, time to throw this body back on and then take it for a little test drive. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm getting in and out of this thing is the And the worst. <laughs>
be fun. Obviously, it has a million problems currently. You know, like the tires hit the bumper when you're driving. It's not four-wheel drive right now because I didn't build the front drive shaft yet. We need some door latches too. The doors keep flying open. Everything was opening yeah, up. Your stove thing, was yeah. opening up. The Look, doors were opening all, up. The, the poor dogs, yeah. they're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> This thing's just the best, or it's gonna be when it's done. It's uh, it's running a little better. We had some lunch, so I'm happier now because I ate food, and uh, I love this thing. I mean, I loved it before lunch, but now it's even better, and uh, it's also running a little better. Maybe I actually got it, um, maybe I actually got it warmed up properly this time, and uh, yeah, it's running a little better. Obviously, still needs some tuning. We need to rejet, you know, clean the carbs air filters, all of that, but that comes after we finish the immense amount of work <laughs> left to do to make it finish. But um, I can't wait to see what it does in four-wheel drive. You know, driving it this much, the exhaust is a nice uh, seat heater sort of thing going on, which is good because it's chilly out here.